Hi everybody, welcome to Fandemonium. I am here with the king of the sweaties himself, the one and only John Schnepp. Hey, so what's good up, Mary? To have you here. It's hey, been a glad long time. Yeah, it's been like you were mentioning this since the AMC days. Yeah. Maybe a couple of schmoes in between. A couple but. of schmoes, but here we are now, and we are gonna talk about right now the Simpsons. The Simpsons. Right? Right. How many years? 30, 50, I don't even know anymore. The fact is there are 600 episodes that are going to be re-released on FXX in sequential order. So you have an opportunity, and we all have an opportunity, to go back and revisit this series from its beginnings. And that got me thinking about The Simpsons and the role it's played in my life and in all of our lives, and what my favorite episodes are and favorite guest stars. What are some highlights or a highlight episode for you? Well, I'd say like, highlights for me it was back when it was on the Tracy Ullman show. Yeah. I used to watch the Tracy Ullman show and the, the freaky, scary Simpsons where they're all jaggedy and weird, yeah. like more classy <laughs> Chupo. They're like, I'm Bart. I'm all freaky and weird. And like, Homer's kind of drunk and manic. Yeah. Dr dr everyone's all drugged out. Their teeth are flying. Yeah, their eyes bug a lot yeah. more in those early I remember the Simpsons episodes. were like, mm -hmm. they didn't scare me, but they were more like, wow, look at that like literally nuclear family. Like I expect him <laughs> to sprout another Homer, you know, head out of his side of his neck or something. Don't! Um, yeah. But I remember that made an impact on me so that when the Simpsons, you you know, went on to its full series, it made sense to me. I was like, oh yeah, those little shorts from the Tracy, of course it deserves its own series. And then they kind of cleaned them up a little bit, yeah. smoothed them out a little bit. I, I remember loving The Simpsons. I mean, back 300 years ago, or whenever the first episode was like, I feel like I was like, back when I was a young kid. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, grandpa's and now they got 600 episodes, you know? I know, but the, it has legitimately been on the air for w over two decades. It's, it's, it's I mean, it outlasted MASH, it, yeah. outlasted, it outlasted every live action show ever made. Which I think is amazing. Why do you think that is? Why does The Simpsons permeate so much? Like, it's this mainstay in popular culture. It's become like Bible truth that like everybody has seen at least one episode of The Simpsons and understands that world. Why is that? <laughs> to me, I think it's just because it, it truly represents the nuclear family of all of, in all of us. Even mm -hmm. if we didn't have that upbringing, we knew someone just like Homer. We knew someone just like Bart or Lisa. We know, we've we had situations happen like have happened in any number of the 600 episodes of The Simpsons. <laughs> Literally, they've covered everything twice now. So, I mean, there's something that we can relate to and yet they are able to spin it and make it funny almost every time. I mean, there's yeah. there's been very few like dingers for The Simpsons. I think every time I've watched it, I've always laughed. So what's a favorite episode off the top? Off the top of my head, The Springfield Files. It's yeah. when they did the X-Files <laughs> yes. thing and, and, uh, and um, they had Mulder and Scully do the voices. They were in it and uh, now I'm spacing out the old man's name. What is his name? George Burns. No, yeah, Not George yeah, Burns, yeah, Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns is like, I bring you love. And he's yes. got the giant saucer eyes and he's kind of floating around. <laughs> I just remember like, I almost peed my pants. Yes, just that, so to see Mr. Burns, as the, the incarnate evil, yet like bring talking about love. Oh my God, I think that was actually when I was watching The Simpsons a lot and that was such a heyday for them, like mid 90s, late yeah. 90s. I think the ones where they delve into the otherworldly, the paranormal, the like alternate re universes. My favorite is when Homer, Simpsons eat, Homer Simpson eats a Guatemala insanity pepper at like a fair and he has like the most intense peyote trip he has like a full Jim Morrison experience mm. and I just love that episode so much it's like Homer finding himself and losing himself at the same time so great what is a favorite character for you uh, I love Homer <laughs> just I mean his stupidity has no bounds yet he's also does things that we do yeah but like it, just dumber versions of anything you would do he would do something dumber. Do kind of you relate to him on the dumbest level, most ape-like, knuckle-dragging level that you can ever possibly get to. That's Homer, but yet yeah. you're sympathetic to him because you're like, oh, I've, I've done that once in a while. I was like, oh, yeah. he's truly the everyman. <laughs> For me, I think I've always loved Lisa. Lisa, I always bonded and connected with Lisa because I always felt like I could relate to her. But I think my heart goes out to Mr. Burns because mm. he just represents. Like you said earlier, evil incarnate and and kind of corporate America, you know, and all the evils of corporate America, and it's just done so playfully and so intelligently. Uh, there's so much to say about The Simpsons, but we don't really have any more time to talk about The Simpsons. Why don't you let us know what you think? What are your favorite episodes? Are you going to watch 600 episodes mm -hmm. straight back to back with no breaks? It's, it's impossible. Insane. It's impossible. It can't be done. Uh, John Schnapp, where can people find you? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnapp. Awesome. You can find me at Miri the Jedi on all the social media. You can find me here on hitfix.com. For more Fandemonium, we've got more John Schnapp, so please keep coming back.